Hi, I'm Hi, Len. I'm Len. I am a grown adult. Yeah. Are you afraid of humans who you don't know coming into your home? Is this fear accentuated when they are legally allowed into your home? And most of all, does it hurt your tiny heart when they're actually there to provide support for you? Oh my gosh, it's terrifying. Basically, I'm disabled. Always a bit shameful because you never really know how people are going to react, but thankfully I'm just talking to my phone camera. Because I'm disabled, I can't work. I live on benefits. And yeah. Luckily, I have good parents, which can't be said for a lot of people, but I am a lucky person. It's still very difficult to try and exist, like have the money to exist. That's what humans do. They get money and they live on it. Capitalism. To get benefits for being disabled, you tend to have to have some visits from people to sort of check that you're disabled for one thing. Thing. I don't know if you've ever had to pass a disabled test on how disabled you are but that test takes place in your own home. First things first, a human will enter your home. This will be an already decided thing. This will be something that has been organized by your parents and the government. Or at least that's how it happened with me. I have parents, so the person who arrives might be any gender or any age. Most likely a woman in her 30s to 60s and that woman will either be very sweet I understand that this is very difficult for you or actually also very sweet but Do see her as the most terrifying being in the universe. This is the person who judges whether or not you are capable of working a job. And now you might think, of course you're capable of working. You have legs that work. You have a voice that communicates clearly. No. On the days that you are visited by the person who might change your life for better or for worse, you have to show them what it's like on your worst days. Bring something to keep you calm. Doesn't matter if you, matter if you actually need it on that day, it's just good for them to see what ridiculous objects you need. For example, a Chewy Gem Stim toy. This is designed specifically to chew like, if you've ever seen a baby tea thing, it's kind of like that, only it's a chewy boy. <laughs> Other options that you could have are some kind of stuffed animal. That always works well, mostly because I actually need one to hold on to. Another thing could be a funny hat. So this person has arrived. They have either been like, I understand that this is very difficult for you. Or like, prove to me you are disabled. Thank you for the tea. Now, they will ask you a few questions, such as, so, how long have you been disabled for? And you will have to answer something like, Well, I think it all began when I was born. Because this is a pervasive developmental disorder. And that means that 
once I am born, I am eternally like this. Or they might ask, how did you find this out? And they will, without a doubt, ask, why haven't you killed yourself yet? If your life is so difficult, why the hell haven't you just tried to die? Yes, I'm asking this straight to your face. Normally I would be like, oh, can we get a mental health history? But I am overworked, underpaid, and I also... They're legally obligated to do that. How are you supposed to respond to something like that? Like, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go into my entire mental health history? What if my mental health history isn't enough? What if I had to have actually tried to kill myself in order to get disability benefits? Or maybe if I haven't been suicidal, then... And eventually you will just end up saying something like... My mother won't let me. Yep. My parents won't let me kill myself. Bare minimum of good parenting there, just so you know. Anyway, that's generally the things that you'll be asked when you're getting your entire life assessed. Judgment from hell or the UK government. The UK government's actually pretty good compared to other governments. Which kind of just says something about other governments. Or about us. Do you have any questions? Ask me! Or ask Google. I think that Google might actually be a safer bet. Bye.